hello welcome back it's the african humanist i've got a video and this time around is completely different from my other videos this is a specially requested video someone asked me to please do a video of how i put my makeup on and that's exactly what i've done in this video but i'm new to this whole video and video editing and don't forget I'm, I'm i'm over 40 years old i'm not young i'm not so um this is just my own uh twist and my own it's not perfect but yeah join me as i transform in this video if you want to watch me go from this to this stay tuned okay so i'm starting with this primer it's w7 24k uh, prime it is called just put a little on my face and then just use my uh, the first the fingertips just to uh, rub it in and get the face ready for um makeup and then the next thing i do i get what you call a spoolie and just brush uh the hairs so now that's just um, foundation that I got from um, uh, the corner store. I mean, what's the name of the shop? Yeah, it's just one of those foundations. It's just cheap, really cheap stuff. So put the um, uh, foundation on my face and just using a brush uh, to go just put the foundation into. I've got quite a lot of blemishes and spots on my face so yeah i always have to use um yeah so just carrying on just blend 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 um makeup is all about blending and um you know trying to um get the the whole thing smoothing and evened out okay so yeah i'm just carrying on doing the um uh, foundation making sure i've got enough and just with the brush carry on blend 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 and making sure right so the next thing i'm doing now is using a concealer that is um at least two shades lighter than my skin to highlight the areas that i want um looking you know that to make it look that pops basically <laughs> right so yeah i put on the forehead below the eyes um and the nose and on the side of the face um just hang on and see what i'm going to do here so just getting a uh, a blender right right just uh, blend all that um concealer into the area so it's going to look a lot brighter than the foundation itself so usually your foundation you'll get a foundation that matches your shade but the concealer um the highlights you get one that's lighter than your actual skin so blend that in just using the blender to blend 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 yeah blend 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 keep blending keep blending and then see i'm patting it downwards right i'm patting that downwards just to even those are the areas that i want looking brighter right it's all it's all just you know you need to think about when you take pictures right uh the areas that you want looking um you know you you want the light showing on those areas trust me i have watched tons and tons of youtube videos so yeah that's how i uh, got to know about all this blending and you know so yeah just keep on blending esther blend 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 so what i've got is technique um a technique um what do you call that thing now um 
baked powder yeah baking powder they call it baking <laughs> so this thing i'm doing right here some people call it baking that just sets it's setting powder it just sets the um uh, the uh, the highlighter in place yeah so just set 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 i've got a very oily face so i definitely need the setting powder just to yeah so here what i've got is um 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 it's also a um what you call it now um not the highlighter but the opposite of a highlighter but just it's like two three shades darker than myself so these are the areas that i want darkened and um it just all makeup what a makeup does is it's just creating an illusion you know an illusion of um dark making hiding the areas you want to hide and um yeah so this bit here right is just the um you know where the cheekbone just below the cheekbone um i have a birthmark on the left side of my face so i kind of go over there and then um yeah just go over that side of my face and then you blend this in now these are the areas that you want looking darker than the areas that you've um, highlighted so we used a highlighter before and now we are uh, contouring that's what it's called contour so you contour using darker shades than your actual shade and you have to blend that's the name M makeup is about blending right so now let's go to the eyes I started off with a dark color but I used a bit of tape right now the reason why I use the tape you will find out when I take the tape off I am hopeless when it comes to putting on eyeshadow I'm really not good and using eyeliner I I can never get the perfect lines but using the um, the tape actually helps to know where i'm going so you use a darker shade usually at the outer corner of your eye right outer corner of your eye and that's exactly what i've done and now i'm using a dark brown color right dark brown so this is right in the middle using a dark brown color yeah, just to blend 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 that in blend that in yeah and the next thing i do is i go in with a it's a dark brown shiny um uh color it's dark brown and it's shiny right you can see it's shining it's popping yeah it's dark brown and um um i i would i put the links to what i used in the uh, this in in the description so dark brown go into the inner corner of the eye right yes. and if you see what i did i pat that in so i'm going in now with again that dark brown uh shade not the shiny one now the one what's not shiny and just blend it oh oh look at that look at look at that sharp line oh you see when i took the tape off now you have the sharp line so i'm going in with the pencil now blue is my favorite color and um so this pencil is a dark blue it's just something i purchased on on ebay i think it was 99 pence i wanted a dark blue uh pencil and that's what i've got it's dark blue and so because i'd used the tape earlier it's so much easier to know what corners of the outer um part of my eye that i want that pencil to go it's so much easier to guide the pencil over that bit right so okay yeah esther carry on carry on carry on carry on yes can you see using that pencil just on that line yay on that line there you go there you go yeah just using that pencil just on the um 
the lash area and the outer corner where I've got the the black uh, shade now this is a black eyeliner I'm using now everything I'm using in my um, in this tutorial is cheap cheap stuff to be honest the only expensive thing in this video is the Mac powder that's the only thing yeah so in here just in the corner um just the corner corner of the eye just a bit of shiny um oh yeah there she goes there she goes dancing and singing again okay so now going in with the spoolie it's all a mess the look makeup looks a mess but it will trust me it will all come together so now what i have is a brown eye pencil it's dark brown and i bought this off ebay only cheap stuff i think it was 1.99 right so i just use that pencil on i don't have much um um hair on my um i don't have much eyebrow hair so i just go with the pencil just sl slightly very slightly now if you notice in the corner i didn't use lots of eye pencil rather i use my spoolie to um just go over you don't want sharp lines with makeup you don't want sharp lines and if you have sharp lines try to blend so just in the corner of the eye just going over there right and then just using this spoolie to create um some of that dark brown color so now now to clean the eyebrows so you know the highlighter that i used before just go over the eyebrows just slightly in fact i had a bit too much here but it all will work out in the end so went in with my and then now flat brush that's a small flat brush just try to sweep so just you know like you're sweeping but very tender very tender very tender just go over the lines that you have made and um, try to clean it up yeah so doing the same with the top bit now and sweep 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 up 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 upward motion right yeah just go slowly slowly now don't be too hard make sure you um you know just blend see what i'm doing is just blending all that in it will all come together trust me it will all come together okay keep blending keep blending blend 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 keep blending girl there you go so yeah so i've done the same on the other eye off camera keep blending now it's it's um because i wear glasses doing this tutorial is really hard so if you notice i've got a camera um no camera um a mirror a smaller mirror because that it's easier to use so i can see what i'm doing once i take my glasses off i'm as bland as a bat so um i need that little mirror to see what i'm doing so here i'm just going with a high just a just a shiny color in my eyeshadow palette just light and shiny so what that does is it just gives that under the eye just a bit of um light just makes it look uh you know, some people would say to make it pop just under the eye just tap 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 that in and just blend it trust me it looks a mess now but it will all come together okay so this is a bit of blusher blush blusher blush okay so okay just with the brush just go over go over it and then just blend it in blend blend just keep blending just put that now the uh, mac mac powder the beauty with the mac powder is you can go in the shop and um and they can do a matching um 
they can match the powder to your skin your skin tone so now what I'm doing all that mess that you're seeing two things I'm doing here I'm cleaning up the powder and at the same time just blending everything together it looks a mess because I have I have um, um, two lights shining on me so it just looks like a mess but trust me by the time um, I've put everything together it will all just come into one beautiful piece yeah so just keep on blending keep on blending keep on blending keep on blending with the Mac powder just carry on girl carry on so now what I'm doing is a highlight um, brush small small thin brush so I've just got the shiny this is just a light shiny um, the same one I used inside the corner eye right yeah just put it on the areas that I want to have a little bit of shine look at that shiny nose <laughs> okay so now I've put a bit of that just on the uh, on my chin and just on the top of my lip as well just from that oh yeah and just the side of my uh, on just on the on the, on the top of the cheekbones look look at that look at look at just look hang on and see what's gonna happen here oh look at that look at the nose is shiny the forehead is shiny chin shiny and now cheekbone yay shine okay so now I've got eye uh, mascara yes max studio mascara now I personally don't like wearing lashes because I wear glasses and um, they 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 clash with my glasses it's it's a nightmare uh, people say oh but you can trim the lashes and wear them with your glasses oh, I don't know I just it's too much it's just too much yeah so now what I'm doing is going in again with that brush and just because I noticed that there were some little gaps here and there so just making sure everything's blended in okay making sure everything's blended in and so now just just with the powder blush just going over the uh, side of my cheeks i like a bit of color on the cheek bone just so it's not looking too white and too bright ah so because i've got this birthmark here um, and I've got powder over it so what I've done is just use that spoolie to go over my birthmark now for the lips I started off with a red it's dark red um, lip liner just going over the corners of my lips and it helps to guide uh, where I would be putting the lipstick on so yeah just use it on the outer corner using the lipstick make sure you get the correct um, areas that you want it just get, it helps to guide where you put your lipstick I've got the Kat, Kat Von D uh, lipstick I love red lipstick I mean I, you, you I, in my opinion you can never go wrong with red lipstick so now it's going over and then yeah I usually go use it go on the top lip first and then bottom lip then smack the two together go over it again at least you need to put the lipstick on about three times right yeah smack them together Esther do it girl smack 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 okay now making sure yeah smack smack going in again and this time around just getting enough just for the um yeah top and bottom lip making sure 
Yeah, snap. Yeah, smack, smack, smack. There you go. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Look at it. Look at that. Yes. Look at that. Look at that. Not bad, I don't think. Huh? I mean, yeah, check this out. This is unnatural light. Yes. Hey, hey. Fantastic. Now, check this out. I think it looks amazing amazing look at the blue look at the blue oh I love I love that I love the blue color yeah if you've liked this video let me know and if you like to see more ah please let me know look at her look at her look at her look look, look, look at her oh.